The D-Audio and French firm Naval Group have signed an agreement for the certification of the fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion system developed by D-Audio's Naval Materials Research Laboratory for fitment on board the first Calvary-class submarine during its first refit in 2024 that will significantly enhance its submerged endurance. The indigenous AIP technology has been successfully developed with the support of Indian industry partners, and it has now reached the stage of maturity for industrialization. The DRDO and Naval Group will conduct detailed design certification of the AIP module, and these actions will lead the way to start localization and industrialization of AIP system, including the hull fabrication by the Indian industry for future fitment on board the submarines. The Indian Navy and Mazagan dock shipbuilders are in talks for the procurement of two more Calvary-class submarines, as the Navy is expecting considerable delays in the procurement of six next-generation submarines on the Project 75i. The DRDO and Larsen and Two Broad developed Jarel War Light Tank is under advance phase of fabrication, and it will be rolled out in April 2023. Officials have said that after undergoing technical trials, the light tank prototype will start user trials by the Indian Army by end of this year. The Defence Acquisition Council had recently accorded the approval for acceptance of necessity for purchasing 354 light tanks through Make in India that will incorporate niche technologies like artificial intelligence, drone integration, active protection system and high degree of situational awareness. The DRDO chief has said that the indigenous 12 megawatt cavalry marine gas turbine engine is as powerful as a 16 megawatt gas turbine engine that is sold in the international market by foreign companies. The cavalry marine gas turbine engine has demonstrated 12 megawatt power under Indian sea conditions, which is equal to 16 megawatt power under international standard atmospheric conditions, and the indigenous engine should be enough for most requirements of the Indian Navy like cruisers and destroyers. The DRDO has plans to use the core of the 110 kN engine of the AMCA program as a marine gas turbine engine for future naval programs but it will require separate project funding. The Indian Air Force has resorted to a new and unique form of camouflage to protect its bases in the Rajasthan sector, which are located close to the line of control, and is home to workhorses such as Su-30 fighter jets and Prachand light combat helicopter. New satellite imagery has revealed that the aircraft hangars, runways, taxing areas and parking have been painted with graffiti that depicts objects of various shapes and sizes to confuse homing missiles that come with optical identification of enemy targets. India's National Security Guard and US Special Operations Forces have started a month-long joint anti-terror mock exercise named Turkash in Chennai, in which the two forces will train together on joint swift and coordinated counter-terror operations in urban environment, combat shooting and long-range marksmanship. The combined exercise will involve sharing of best practices tactics weaponry technology and equipments, and neutralizing chemical and biological radiological and nuclear threats in an effective manner. Oh,